Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you have not done this quest called Every Rose Has Its Thorn, I highly suggest it. It's a very interesting quest. It's probably one of my favorites and mostly because of the ending. I was pretty shocked by it. I didn't expect it. I just didn't see it coming. Uh, there is actually a big secret from Vihermina at the end, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. And if you do the quest right, you end up romancing Vihermina, which is great for those who missed out on the quest to romance Eureka at the beginning of the game. I was completely locked out of that quest because I progressed the main story a little bit too far and that quest just became completely unavailable for me, which kind of sucked. This quest, however, you do not have that issue. You can unlock it at any point. I'm doing this quest just before the final step of the main quest. And I just wanted to do it before I go to the ending so I can have her on the final scene ending. Hopefully it is her. So I'm going to give you guys a guide for this quest because even though it was cool, it was fun, it was probably one of the most vague quests that I had. The instructions were basically go help Wilhelmina and that's it. No directions, no names of who to talk to or where to go. So I have a couple of tips so you know where to go, who to look for and don't end up wasting too much time like I did. So first things first, how do you unlock it? At any point during the main story after you first meet her and she gives you access to visit her, all you have to do is increase her affinity. You can give her one flower every day for three days and that seems to do the trick. You will notice the conversation will change. It will no longer be the same. She will tell you a little bit more about her. Wait another day, go back the following day to visit her. And this time before you reach her room, one of her workers is going to be standing outside just telling you that she is busy with someone. Doesn't matter, you go into her room anyway. There is a wall with a painting. Walk up to it and you will be able to interact with it. You're going to spy on Vihermina. That is not very a reason like, but you know, whatever. She's going to tell you more about her. And basically what you have to do is offer your assistance. And that is it. That unlocks officially the quest. And the instructions is just basically help Vihermina gather proof on alert. And the first step is for you to go to the castle and talk to Seven. I think that's his name, the son of Disa. You talk to him, he will give you another quest for something else. It's going to be unrelated to this one. Don't worry about that quest, you can do it later. You can do it separately. After you finish that conversation, you're gonna talk to him again. You might have to do it once or twice. And the next time you talk to him, he will actually now talk to you about Vihermina's quest, about this guy Alar. He will tell you to go visit this guy Patrick at his estate, at his house at night. This part is a little bit more straightforward. He will help you get inside Alar's house. Once you go inside his house, you're gonna go to a second floor and look for this uh, painting on the wall. You're gonna interact with it and one of the report, the murder report, is going to fall and you're gonna take it. Now the next step, and I think it's probably skippable, you can talk to Captain Brandt and there's going to be a conversation about it. Very important at this point, don't give this report to Brandt. After that, the next thing, you want to look for the second report. And the second report is located in this house right across the barber shop in the corner of the merchant quarters. There's going to be a report just laying there on the table, it's the bribery report. Now that you have both reports, you're able to proceed and go back to Vihermina. At this stage, you should probably sleep either at your house or at the inn and I give the reports to Vihermina during the day. There is a chance that if you give her the reports in the evening, the final romance cat scene may not happen. So make sure to sleep until the next morning to do this. 
And it's also good in case, you know, your result uh, doesn't work out, you have a hard save that you can go back to. Now everything, the quest becomes very straightforward. You give her the reports, both of them, let everything play out, follow her. And at one point she will ask you to grab the guy. And all you have to do is tackle him, basically grab him. From that point, just watch the story and enjoy it. After everything is done, you have to now get away. And all you have to do at this point is jump out of the window. You want to get out of the city and make sure to hit the to me button so that your pawns follow you. Unless you want to kill the security guards. But if you don't, just get out of the city, go far enough until the music changes to the normal music. Once you do all of that, you can wait another day, go back to Vihermina. Now there's going to be the final cutscene, the romancing part and all of that. And with that, the quest officially ends. Overall, it's actually a really short quest. I wish there were a little bit more to it. I wish it were a bit longer actually, uh, but that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy, really fun. All right, that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Have fun, enjoy the game. And I'll see you all in the next video.